Dick McTaggart in the all-white colours versus Harry Kershaw of Germany. Keep your eye on McTaggart in the white. He was later awarded the Val Barker Trophy for the most stylish boxer of the whole tournament. Always difficult to handle, the South Force stylists were well to the fore in Melbourne. Watch McTaggart right hand closely. There's a knockdown coming up, the result of a nicely timed straight right. Soon on his feet again, Kershaw is full of fight, eager to get in close and attack the fast-moving Britisher. He's more experienced than the wiry-haired McTaggart, but the South Force stance seems to be causing him a lot of trouble. McTaggart's right hand is certainly earning him a lot of points, and another knockdown coming up. First round, won very easily. Get one on my right hand, box and punch him off. Same as the second round. I was going to be a bit closer round, the second round. I won, I won easier the second round. But the third round, well, I was tired. Very tired of the third round. Well, the tennis is how you won the game. I'm trying to play. So I was more confident. I knew I'd won the corner. I knew myself in that at the time that I'd won the corner. I knew I'd box ahead of him. And he should have been more because he's come to me all the whole time. Well, I'd never knew it was in the war until later, because I was going to go out and enjoy myself, celebrating. And someone says to me, I think it was John Henderson, a Scottish, Scottish boy, official. Or George Johnson, he says, no, you've not, better not go away, there's uh, Alan, the war coming later on, and you're not running for it. I said, what's that? Never mind, you go away, just make sure. And then I found out I won it. Oh, it's fantastic. And then they told me what it's for, for the most stylish boxer. It should be the most stylish runner because I was running around that ring. <laughs> well, I had a couple to have a drink just to see it was open, but I, I couldn't believe that. I said, Terry Spinks, he came second. London Airport welcomes Britain's two gold medal Olympic boxers, flyweight Terry Spinks and lightweight Dick McTaggart. Both boxers went on to earn further honours. Spinks turned professional. In 1960, he beat Bobby Neal to take the British featherweight title, a prize to add to the Olympic gold he'd won as little more than a boy. McTaggart stayed as an amateur and carried the flag in 1960 in Rome, where he went on to win a bronze medal. He also battled through to the third round in Tokyo in 1964, but by now, he was getting on a bit. Kulay has won. Yoshi Kulay of Poland has beaten the former Olympic gold medalist Dick McTaggart. The brave bid of McTaggart at 29 to win a third medal in the Olympics has failed, but Dick failed very gallantly. McTaggart had added to his medal collection in 1961 with a European Championship gold. He retired in 1965, having won his fifth ABA title and in due course became national coach to the Scottish ABA. A year after McTaggart left the ring, a young boxer from Ivor in Buckinghamshire was competing for the ABA middleweight title. The ABA middleweight champion for 1966, Finnegan. 21 years old, a bricklayer and laying the foundation perhaps of a very useful career there with that win Chris Finnegan over John Turpin and Finnegan joins such past great middleweight champions who held this title people like Harry Malin who won it five times running like Malin Finnegan would go to the Olympic Games as Britain's middleweight Mexico in 1968 had its problems not least the altitude Prince Philip had talked to the team to try and ease their concerns he said he played polo out there for 45 minutes each way and it just never affected him in the least. Well, at the end of this, his speech, they asked, they said, anybody want to like, ask the Duke of Anjou any questions? So I thought, I've got to go for it. So up my hand goes, oh my God, it's one of the boxers. I said to him, I said, you said it never affected you. But tell me one point. I said, did you go down the stables afterwards and ask the horse how he felt? Finnegan against Kisselia, Olympic middleweight final, with Finnegan having produced the best boxing of his career. Kisselia, 
Basilio's had a most impressive win in the semi-final when he stopped the Mexican Zaragoza inside a round. The best win he'd had so far. Up to that point, he hadn't looked too impressive. Finnegan had a really superb win over Jones of America in his semi-final. And although he took two standing counts against the heavy punching American, he did in fact score and score and score with his southpaw right hand into the American face all the way to the contest and he got a 4-1 judges decision. Nice left hand from Finnegan, that one got through. That's made Castellio hold on. And Castellio's now looking really tired. Now then, can Finnegan step up his face here and really pull something out of the bag? Good punches from Finnegan. This is the start we want from him. He's working hard again now. Come on, Finnegan. He's got to do it. He's got to really work. 30 seconds. Work, work, work. He must work. He's on the scoring in this last run. 10 seconds. He could still do it. He's done all the work since halfway through the second round. The time's run out on him. There it is. There it is. And Finnegan has come very close. He's come very, very close indeed. Caselli has won the first half of the contest, but Finnegan has won the second half. It was very, very close fight. I mean, I couldn't complain or grumble if it went to the other way. I still thought I won the fight, don't get me wrong. I still thought I won, but it was very, very close. He's done it! He's done it! Finnegan has got the gold medal! Chris Finnegan has won the gold medal at middleweight for Britain. The first British success since 1956. The Mexicans picked on me, believe it or not, asked me to take them. A dope test. I couldn't pass water. The next minute they turned the taps on, ran the water. It's still no good. I drank some four pints of water, still couldn't produce any water. So I said, this is getting boring to me. I said, is it, does it make any difference if I could drink beer? They said, no, it wouldn't show up, no difference at all. I said, oh God, now you tell me after drinking four pints of water. <laughs> Finnegan, warmly received back home, remains Britain's last boxing gold medalist. He turned professional, of course, and went on to win a Lonsdale belt. He was a European champion, but just missed out on a world title, losing to the outstanding American, Bob Foster. Chris Finnegan, MBE.